Today is my birthday. I am 38. Normally I'd be out spending it with friends and family having a few drinks, but as we're all still on lockdown, I'm going to be celebrating with you guys. I can't give you any jelly or ice cream, but I can give you a wall of balloons. In the last video, I told you that the average life expectancy of a British male born the same year as me, 1982, has a life expectancy of 70 years. Each balloon represents one year. So there's 70 balloons, which when you look at it, is quite a lot. However, I'm 38 today, so 38 of these, I've got to go. gone, which leaves just 32 years for me to accomplish all my hopes and dreams. I don't want to look back when my time comes and have any regrets, missed opportunities. I want to live life to the fullest and experience as much as I can. I'm going to get Lucy to clean this up. I'm just playing she kill me. you write a list of all the things you want to do before you kick the bucket and try and tick them off before your time comes. Normally we're caught up with other commitments, work, studying, friends, family, that we put off our dreams for another day thinking we'll get round to them and it's not until a traumatic experience happens to you or a friend, a loved one, that you realise tomorrow's not guaranteed. We may not have time to do what we've been putting off. Yes, I do need knee pads as well. 38 year old knees are 10 year I can't say that anything traumatic has happened to me, but I've always felt that I'm just plodding along. Maybe it's because of all that's going on in the world now of coronavirus or impending fatherhood, but I feel it's time for a change. Maybe find that little bit that's missing. It's time to go on some new adventures and create some new memories. Which is where this comes into play. Well, that's my birthday and I have been spoiled with lots of gifts from friends and family and Lucy. I decided to get myself a little journal and it is a journal, not a little black book. In it, I'm going to write down my list and all that I hope to achieve because once you write it down, it transforms an idea into a plan. And you can keep track of your progress and it turns a vision into reality. because it's full of things that I want to do and experience, hence the bucket list part. But it's also full of things that scare the crap out of me. You know the point of no return when you're on the edge and there's nothing left to say, but fuck it. So while I'm writing out my bucket and fuck it list, Lucy is sterilizing everything. Um, <laughs> everything in sight. Getting ready for the baby and nesting. And that's what I was going to say, is that we are still going to continue to vlog and still do um, us, basically. But what with baby coming, moving house, I'm hoping to do, tick one of these off every week, every couple of weeks, fingers crossed. There is some big things there which, you know, are going to take a while to plan and get done, but we're still going to be bringing you our lives. I actually don't know what's on his list, so I'm intrigued as much as you guys probably are. So that is the bucket and fuck it list completed. The what? It, the bucket and fuck it list, Luce. It's you can't swear. The bucket and effort list. Um, <laughs> Lucy has done her business. Done my business. I've sterilised the bottles. Yeah, she's she's been cleaning. Okay. Um, so there's about... 70 odd things in there at the moment and I will add to them as we go uh, and we're going to vlog it and hopefully it's going to inspire you guys to maybe tick off a couple of things in your own list. Uh, I am going to get some other people involved in some of these as well so it's pretty cool. Can well, I read some? No because then it's going to give it away. Read one you can 
give one away, Liz. Okay, swim with a great shark. Great white shark. And we're going to put learn to read for Lucy's <laughs> um, bucket list. I think I was just a bit taken back. You do know you're going to be a dad soon. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, you can still, you know, hold the baby with one hand. Um, <laughs> and on that note, guys, as I say, it's birthday. There's only one way to finish it. With birthday cake. cake. So thank you very much for watching. We will see you next time for a new a, adventure. I just got something to say. Happy birthday, Pete. <laughs> Thanks.